everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some gaze stabilization exercises for vertigo. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! Vertigo is a very general term. It's usually diagnosed a lot. You have vertigo, but vertigo is a symptom. It's not really a diagnosis. You can have positional vertigo. You can have centralized vertigo. You can have vestibular loss. So it's really just a symptom of many things. So these gaze stabilization exercises are really for like a chronic dizziness type of vertigo. Some people say that the positional vertigo, this doesn't really help, but in my opinion, I think it's worth doing when you're doing your other exercises with it as well. So just to know that when someone says vertigo, it's not necessarily a specific diagnosis. It's just something, a symptom that you have, and it could be something else. So with that said, for these exercises, it's just like it sounds. You are gazing upon something and stabilizing your eyes. So what you want to do is make a target. You can put an X on a sticky note and put it on a wall, or you can just use your finger, but you want to keep your eyes on the target, whatever you're looking at. So when I do it, I'm going to do it at a slight angle so you can see what I'm doing. But when you're doing it at home, you want it to be right in front of you. So you don't want your body or your head to be at an angle. You want to be straight in front of you. But I feel like if I do it, I'm going to be looking at the camera instead of my finger. So I'm going to do it at a slight angle. Also be aware that while you're doing these, it might reproduce some of those dizzy symptoms. You might start feeling a little sick or nauseated, getting that spinny feeling. So make sure you're in a safe environment when you do it and make sure that you don't have to go anywhere right after you do these. And then eventually it will get better. So I'm gonna just use my finger to look at and keep my gaze on my finger and then just move my head side to side while I'm looking at my finger. So I'm trying to keep my eyes there the whole time, which sounds pretty easy, but if you have chronic dizziness, sometimes this is pretty hard to do. So just start off with 10 to 15 seconds of this. Eventually you can work your way up to 30 seconds or a minute, but in the beginning, you don't want to do a whole lot because it, it might reproduce some symptoms of dizziness. So after you go side to side, then you're going to go up and down. But same thing, try and keep your eyes on the target the whole time, which again is sometimes harder than it sounds. So just looking up and down, keeping those eyes on the finger and moving the head. So then after you do that, then you're going to go at an angle. So I'm just going to bring my head one way and then down. So again, trying to keep my eyes on my finger the whole time. It might look kind of funny because I'm, I'm focusing very hard on that finger, but keeping that gaze in one spot. And then doing the other angle, so going up and down. So really just trying to retrain your vision and so you don't have that dizziness. So it's it's an exercise. You're exercising those eyes trying to get that stabilization back. So as simple as that and so it's just retraining your eyes because a lot of times with that dizziness you have what we call nystagmus which is that shifting of the eyes. And a lot of times if you're getting tested by your doctor or your physical therapist, that's what they look for. They bring your head down and they look to see if your eyes are bouncing back and forth. And so this is just a great way to help strengthen that so you don't have that dizziness or spinning feeling all the time. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to help support our channel so we can make more awesome videos, click the box up here. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.